We're winding down 2018. We still have one title to make official. It's the world champion bucking ball. Smooth operator a few moments ago. Great effort, 46 and a half points. Now, Jose Vitor Lemmy hopes to ride Bruiser, not only to a qualified ride, but help Bruiser to a third consecutive world title. All Bruiser needs is 42 points or better. Yeah, and I'd love to see him have one of those 46, 47 point days and finish this thing off strong for himself and propel Jose to a go around win. This could be, I mean, this is a really exciting matchup. We've already seen three qualified rides in the round. Derek Kolbaba with another exclamation point aboard Cochise. Bruiser a lot like Cochise, at least, Ty, in the terms of the big scores he can help a rider get to. I think this is, you know, a lot of times the, the world champion bull is a big, scary, dangerous, uh, very, uh, you know, that. Growing up, the, the rank bulls, they're, they're, they're ones that are really, really scared you to death. And this bull is the most athletic bull. It athletically does things that you cannot believe. But if you're a top rider and you're doing things right, this bull can feel great. It is time to raise the roof. Jose Vitor Lemmy is not gonna win it all this year. But he just made his intentions for 2019 very clear. And I think Bruiser just put the icing on the cake for a third world championship of his own. This is gonna be one of those that's gonna be big. 93 and a half. Look at the athleticism that this bull has and he is so big and so well cared for and he always does that kind of signature backwards jump when he changes direction. What an athlete. Lemmy and his fans have been waiting all week for a round win, and he may have just gotten it, but let's give credit to our bovine athletes. There's your world champion, Sweet Pros Bruiser, wins for the third consecutive year. Let's send it to Leah. This arena has been so good to you. Cap off the experience on Bruiser. I falou assim que essa arena tem sido tão boa com você para você falar sobre a experiência que você teve com o Bruiser. Mas eu só tenho a agradecer a Deus por tudo que ele me faz aqui dentro dessa arena. Eu estou muito feliz por ter sorteado ele. Eu tinha muita vontade de montar nele. Eu acho que não tinha um lugar melhor a não ser aqui. Estou muito feliz. Graças a Deus consegui fazer meu trabalho. I just want to thank God for everything he, you know, he gave to me on this particular arena. And I always want to ride Bruiser, get on Bruiser, and no best place than Vegas to have this happen. And with the great score, that's awesome. I just want to thank God for everything he's given me. Dreams come true. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You know, guys, we've talked a lot over J.B. Mooney's career about riding the greats. And J-Dub, I'll go to you. Jose Vitor Lemmy, that is definitely a feather in his cap to say he's ridden Bruiser. Hey, are these animals mistreated or what? Look at this. <laughs> he's just a big old pet and might have introduced you to the new world, the newest world champ right here. Thank you for that introduction. Great to have him aboard as the representative of the Bulls heading into 2019. We've still got three rides to go and determine our event winner. Jess Lockwood hopes Speed Demon helps him to a fourth eight seconds this week. This is an intriguing matchup right here. This has got a lot of potential. These are two great little athletes about to mix it up right here. Speed Demon has got a heart as big as him. He'll go either direction, sometimes right here to the left or just a big look, shoot forward to the right. Lockwood is more than capable of riding this bull. Ty, not only you and Mac, but the greats throughout bull riding history have always had, I think, one big thing in common. You rose to the occasion when you won it. The challenge, the challenge for Lockwood, be the first man out of 15 attempts this year to ride this bull. Yeah, and you know, this is when them great moments are made and don't think this is lost on Jess Lockwood. You know, he he, thri he thrives for that. He, he cannot wait to be in these kind of positions and he, every bull he's been on, he's just gotten better th at this time.
Speed Demon shifts it into overdrive. Lockwood could not keep up. And everything he hoped for unravels in three seconds. Speed Demon is, if he was another 300 pounds bigger, you'd be talking about this bull in the race for bull of the year. This is such a, an intense little bull. Gets Jess down to the inside, and Jess is just in preservation mode right here, trying to get out of harm's way and taking a lot of shots in the process. Lockwood ends his final year with a qualified ride aboard Rising Sun and a buck off aboard Speed Demon. Last year's PBR World Champion will see someone else take the title, but you can bet Jess Lockwood will be back a few short weeks from now. So we come down to the final two. They are still both five for five. Much like we spent a large part of this week talking about who'd blink between Pacheco and Lemmy, now we get to see who's going to blink tie between Outlaw and Aguchi. Yeah, I don't think either of them are, are planning on blinking. And, you know, this feels like just as good a, a match as we were seeing for the World Championship. These are two guys that are in their prime at the apex of their career. Uh, right, both of them riding lights out at the World Finals. This is, this is going to be head to head as good as it gets. Mac, it's fun on not only Sunday, but this part of Championship Sunday. The math, again, gets really simple. If Chase Outlaw bucks off, Marco Aguche is the World Finals event winner. Yeah, and they have both drawn equally tough bulls. Uh, heartbreak kid, most of the time, when I see somebody matched up against him, I always say the odds are in Heartbreak Kid's favor because he's such a ranked bull, big, strong. They can't draw a bead on him. He'll do something different every time. But I promise you, I am not going to bet against Chase Outlaw <laughs> the way this guy has been riding. And guess what? The Vegas odds makers would love to take your money because this bull has only allowed one qualified ride in 33 attempts. And that ride wasn't at this level. It was at Denver a year and a half ago at a Touring Pro event. I've seen Jess Lockwood this summer get close to riding this bull, and the bull never turned back, and Jess was still going to be 90 points on it. Chase Outlaw loves a challenge himself. He's got one underneath him. He's off, but Ty, based on what we've seen this week and the way Heartbreak Kid left the shoots, doesn't look like there are any flags, which means Marco Aguche is your 2018 World Finals event winner. And guys, let's just bring back how big of a title this is, Ty, to win over the past 25 years. Well, it's the biggest one that you can win next to being the world champion. And, you know, Marco Aguche has been so good here to come in with this big of a lead. But you got to remember, this is bull riding. And the bull don't know and the bull don't care. And it's every bit just as dangerous whether you've won it already or not. So when you climb down into that chute, you've got to go back to square one. You've got to focus in at the job at hand. For Marco, it is a very small and select group of individuals that have been able to be perfect at the World Finals. So we go back to the rising to the challenge opportunity given. Marco would become the sixth man since 2001 to do it. And that is another illustrious list of names. Absolutely. And the handful of times that I've gotten to see this bull, even with Pacheco putting up the big score on Bruiser, I think Marco can win this go round on Legit. This is a bull that's living up to his name. Legit, in the one time we've seen him at the World Finals tie, 46 points. Yeah, this one is for real, and he's big, and he's strong, and he's he's got it all. Should be to the right into Marco's hand. I mean, we've already seen him ride Spotted Demon, Stuntman Ray for over 90 points going that direction. 
Well, I, I was just reminded of the fact that Legit has a chance to win a title of his own. If he's 46 and three quarters, he'll knock Hocus Pocus tie out of the win of the event bowl. Yeah, and Hocus Pocus was super, super impressive. Well, he's got the right jockey on his back. We talked about it when, <laughs> when Marco was getting on Spotted Demon. Marco, for a stock contractor, is the dream guy. He's a little bitty scrappy guy that's going to try his guts out. It's either going to be a huge score or he's going to blow Marco out of the arena. One more chance for Marco. He's been perfect all week. Will he finish that way? It doesn't happen. Oh, gosh. Not only was it a buck off, but then the bullfighters helped him run for his life. Congratulations to Marco Aguche yet again, the world finals event winner and legit as we await for the score tie, didn't disappoint. No, and he comes around hard to the right and he's like, right off the bat, he's like, you know what, that ain't working. Here's a belly roll and I'm gonna go the other direction. It looks to me like the bull score that's coming in is 46 and a half, which means they tie. Is that correct, Craig? I, I believe so. I'll wait for somebody smarter than me to confirm it. But based on what we were told, needing 46 and a quarter and three quarters to win, let's celebrate Marco Agucci. Coming into this year, the best he had ever been at the World Finals was 12th. He just blew that stat away. We're going to talk to him. Basically, it has to be his biggest week to remember, just like this man. Destiny has delivered Kaiki his crown after fighting for all the years and fighting through all the adversity this final week. There is your 2018 PBR World Champ. Let's send it to Leah. Kaiki Pacheco has a commercial that says, work hard and pay your dues. How rewarding is this, knowing that you've done both? Ela falou que tem um comercial que fala, trabalha duro e recebe o seu pagamento. Como que está sendo para você finalmente ganhar essa fivela de campeão mundial? Eu agradeço a Deus, Paulo, por ter acontecido minha vida. Foi duro demais, não foi fácil, não comecei o ano bem. Mas que ano passado, Depois comecei a estar bem no meio do ano. Mas graças a Deus consegui realizar meu trabalho. Então que está meu sonho. It wasn't easy this year. I start the season injury and and then I just picked back up and you know halfway through and and I've been working hard in this past weekend I got that injury coming into the world finals. With that big injury, it wasn't that easy. I just want to thank God to bless me and help me go through with so much heart and hard work. And this, there he is. That's paid off. And going back to that injury, and you talk about athletes digging deep. Were you nervous when you were first injured, knowing what you had ahead of you? Ela falou assim que vamos falar sobre atletas que vêm com machucado lá dentro mesmo do coração. Você ficou nervoso? Quando você teve que vir para a final com esse, com, essa, com esse machucado, achando que você pudesse perder a, a fivela ou não? A gente tem que tentar esquecer, Paulão. Focar só no momento, concentrar em mim e meu touro. Graças a Deus consegui esvaziar minha cabeça, concentrar em mim e meu touro. Mas fui montando, foi doendo mais. Fui sentindo mais minha perna, meu joelho. Mas graças a Deus consegui realizar meu trabalho. I tried to kind of empty my mind, you know, I, I, I just like try to forget everything, but at, through the every round, after every round, it started hurting and hurting more, and, and I just couldn't do much of them, but I just want to thank God to help me go through this and give me this big win and this big dream come through. The biggest win of them all, Kaika Pacheco, your world champion.